everyone today's video is about repotting orchids today i'm going to repot my peggy ruth carpenter on sidium it used to be known as a uh, bellara and i'm also going to repot my no id phalaenopsis this is a very beautiful flower but as you can see both of them are out of flower this one still has a flower spike the flower spike i've cut off the on sidium and i think it's time to give them a much better home this one is potted in sphagnum moss and I noticed that it's starting to mold a little bit and the leaves are also suffering. While this one has quite degraded potting medium. So I've decided to put them into fresh potting medium today. Okay. Alright, uh, the first one that I'm going to repot is the um, Peggy Ruth Carpenter. This is the one with the very degraded potting medium. As you can see, the potting medium is almost soil-like. It's no longer bark chips. For both of the new orchids, I'm going to be using this potting medium that I got from Plantite Orchids. It is medium texture pine bark with some silica. I hope you can see that the white parts are not perlite or vermiculite it's silica sand and then there are also little bits of what I think is cocoa peat and that is actually absorbing moisture the silica will help for drainage and of course orchids love pine bark so I'm going to use this medium this pot um, is something that used to contain I think one of the products at home um, I used a rotisserie a heated rotisserie skewer to burn some drainage holes in here because I can't find orchid pots anywhere. I used Danny's method. Danny is from Orchid Nature. She has recommended that you use clear pots to see how your orchids grow and that you burn holes in the sides of the pot and on the bottom for drainage and to help them breathe. But in my uh, climate, it's very, very dry. So for Oncidiums, I only put holes in the bottom of the pots. And for the Phalaenopsis, I've put holes all around so that it can um, get more air circulation. Phalaenopsis do need actually much less moisture than the Oncidiums do. Uh So here's what I'm going to do first is remove the old potting medium from the Oncidium. Very carefully the degraded potting medium. It's very soft and has degraded quite a bit. As you can see, she's got quite a healthy root system. Uh, I don't see any rotting, so there's no need for me to trim anything. And the pot size, I think, is ideal. You never really want to size up the pot for your orchids because orchids like a snug fit in their pots. So this one, the roots are almost touching the sides of the pot. I think it should be fine. And with Oncidiums, unlike with a normal um, house plant, you don't plant them in the middle like this because of their growth habit. They put out pseudo bulbs sideways. So you would want to put it up against the side of the pot to give the pseudo bulbs room elsewhere in the pot to grow. So this orchid I'm probably going to place like this in the pot, almost all the way to the side. This is the back bulb where it flowered and grew previously. This is the current bulb and the new bulbs, the new pseudo bulbs can come out in any direction here on the left or the right. So I'm going to plant this orchid off to the side here. And 
and this is pretty much it for repotting the oncidium um, I've planted it off to the side of the pot not in the middle to give the pseudo bulbs room to grow so we'll see in which direction these pseudo bulbs want to go but you don't want to put everything dead center but as you can see the potting medium is nice and airy you can actually see some of the roots here off to the side so you'll be able to see that they're getting enough circulation they're not developing any mold or anything like that all right, that is it for the uh, Peggy Ruth Carpenter Oncidium. All right, as you can see, the Phalaenopsis here is potted in sphagnum moss, which is great for the people that are selling them in nurseries and in supermarkets, but not great for the home gardener if you want to keep this in your house for a long time. The sphagnum moss is not necessarily the best potting medium because it molds very easily, it holds on to water very easily, and these phalaenopsis like their roots to breathe and to have good air circulation. So um, I don't know if you can really see, but there are patches here of mold everywhere from where um, with the summer heat and the watering, the sphagnum moss has allowed all this mold to develop it is pretty gnarly okay so I'm going to take all this sphagnum moss out see I've taken all the sphagnum moss off the roots I've stripped some of the more rotten roots and left um, the inner root in I've stripped the vellum off and I'm hoping that these roots will still be able to absorb nutrients and moisture I've read that they'll be able to do so and this orchid it's a bit of a rescue the bottom leaves have actually started to rot I don't know if it's a fungus or overwatering, or it's probably something to do with um, the high moisture from that sphagnum moss and the rotting that was happening with the roots. So I'm going to take these unhealthy leaves off. Okay, you can see that, not a good situation. And some of the lower leaves off as well. And I will be potting this now in the fresh medium. go and this is the pot with all the holes holes in the bottom and holes all over the sides okay this is one of the aerial roots that was growing outside of the medium you don't need to tuck this back in this root is already used to being out in the air so you can leave that out and then just carefully add your medium and you can tap your container to make sure that it settles nicely and that your orchid will be stable
so there we have our newly repotted Phalaenopsis. It is in a nice container where the roots will be able to get air circulation, good drainage, and also be able to absorb enough water. And the aerial root is out as well. There's another aerial root starting to form. So I'm just going to naturally let them come out of the pot as they would like. As long as the orchid is happy, I'm happy. Okay, so my um, Oncidium, Peggy Ruth Carpenter, the former Alyssiara Bellara, that goes in here. And the No ID Phalaenopsis, that goes in here. And I will show you pictures of these two girls when they were in flower, just to give you an idea of what these orchids look like. and that's it thank you so much for watching this is the final product my oncidium over here and the no id phalaenopsis have now been repotted and i've put them in these decorative pots as well this is how they're going to stay in the house for the rest of the summer until autumn when hopefully both of them will go into spike again to give me beautiful flowers once more thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe Bye bye